Hey everybody, it's me, Sean, your Toxic Master, and welcome back to Obsidian. It's day number 59. We've got a Toxic Fallout going on, and um, yeah, so in the inter, uh, in between, I went through and I assigned all of our animals to their Toxic stage, so they can all go to the Toxic area and eat some grass. Maybe not the best time for him to be out there right now, but we'll get those roofs built up. Now, one thing I didn't remember when I went and butchered all those, uh, butchered all those, uh, what are you guys doing? You know what, don't, uh, don't take that there. We can store it in here, right? Um, pemmican, all right, store pemmican in here. Um, and just drop on floor. Um, now, what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, these animals, uh, or this meat that I butchered up. Completely pointless because we are not going to be able to uh, cook it all in time. So I killed all those animals for nothing. I mean, I did kill them so I wouldn't have to worry uh, so much about, um, about them uh, eating all the food, but that was a bad idea. I, I should have I should have killed them one at a time. I always forget that I don't have refrigeration because um, I'm just so used to having it. I'm not used to playing tribals. So um, yeah, kind of kind of a dumb move on my part, guys. As usual, she, there's almost always some good stuff to learn from watching me play, and that is a good one to learn. Uh, one of those how not to play kind of in, bits of instruction. So. Now, I would like to get some of this stuff hauled in. How are my hauling animals doing? Animals, uh, well, first off, I would actually have to have a spot for them to haul it to, huh? So I'm gonna set up a, um, a uh, stockpile zone, like right here, of uh, storage, clear all, low, food, there we go. So that way the animals can haul it somewhere. And, um, oh, although I guess if I unrestrict them, they're going to be able to haul it anywhere, huh? Oh, well. They'll still, they'll still be able to haul it anywhere. Alright, so hauling animals. We've got murder. No, oh, I'm not going to be able to... You know, you guys, they, they do not make it easy to, to keep an eye on your animals, that's for sure. It's got initial toxic buildup. Oh, quite a bit of initial toxic buildup, actually. So I think I'm going to go ahead and leave all the animals in the toxic area for now. But I definitely got to get my... I got to get this shit hauled in. Um... Yeah, at least it's deteriorating slowly. Maybe the toxic fallout is preserving it in some way. So we've got Freeman, Drake, Ellenbrook, and Kevin are the ones who are uh, sequestered. Ah, good. Drake, Ellenbrook. Drake, what is your... Uh, pretty low. Kevin? Fairly low. Alright, let's look at the rest of these guys. Luminary. Woo. Spacey, Sasha. You really need to get that food inside. I think I can unrestrict everybody for now. Oh, the luminaries cleaning up the blood outside of our walls and stuff. I mean, I guess that's good, but. I would much rather get this food hauled inside where we could use it. it does look like we're not really going to lose a lot of that that uh, mufalo meat, so that's a relief. And our mufalos may be able to stay fed off of what they're able to salvage off the grass and stuff. I guess it depends on how long it lasts. But you can see some very unfortunate losses with our Devil Strand again. It's almost like the game doesn't like me having the uh, doesn't like me having that Devil Strand farm set up.
Ah, new recruit. Fantastic. Hey, we haven't had a new recruit in quite a while. As a matter of fact, I was not quite prepared for that. So there you get to see, uh, there you go. It's a screenshot I took at Walt Disney World a while back. Let's get that name thing up here and then I can get the game going again. So there we go. All right. Um, our most recent recruit was Kevin. What? Kevin? Is Kevin not named after somebody? Is this the right list? Did I, uh, did I erase everybody that I've already named after somebody? Freeman. Oh, I must have erased everybody who's already been named in here. That would make more sense. All right, so Sinra is our newest, because Kevin would be named after Kevin Yang. Um, so Sinra must be our new one, and Sinra, of course, will be named after Axel. So, uh, Axel, that's all we need. Boom, right there. And I guess that means I'm gonna wanna erase that from the list, because that's how I've been doing it. And uh, Axel, of course, can do all sorts of good stuff, but primarily growing, which is a project, something we definitely want to have our people working on. Um, I do not need you handling, uh, but I do want you growing for sure, and mining as well, that's great. Um, oh, you're a good crafter, are you? Hmm. Still want you doing hauling and cleaning though. Oh, and you can research? I like that. All right, welcome to the colony, Axel. You're gonna be very productive and helpful. Uh, do I have a spare bed for you? I think I do. Oh, maybe I don't, hmm. Well, I'm gonna to need to do something about that. Let's move this bed over to here. And then I'm gonna to have to close that room off. All right. Like these guys are mostly hanging out underneath the uh, cover. There we go. Okay, we've got almost all the stuff hauled in. Let's get somebody over here to haul this stuff in. But let's uh, let's check everybody's health real quick. Freeman's good. Oh, actually, everybody's staying pretty healthy. Nobody's getting too much. Good. Nobody's getting too much uh, exposure. So. Gather up the last of that stuff, and now I can go ahead and just assign them to the toxic zone. Uh, restrict, toxic. Let's copy the uh, sleep schedule for you, Axel. Let's set up another workbench here. Oh, but let's do the let's do it right this time. Production, electric tailor bench. Even if I don't have electricity in here yet, we'll get that in here soon enough. Uh, what are we researching? Air conditioning? Yeah, of course. Uh, but I think we're going to manage to use most of that meat. Maybe not all of it. Hey, exotic goods trader. Bye, outsiders. Friendlies. Wow, they scattered to the winds, huh? Alright, who's my, uh, who's my warden, Freeman? Warden Freeman? That almost sounds like something. Uh, how are you doing on your rest? You're pretty well rested, buddy. Why don't you come over here and do some trading? I know it's kind of outside of your restricted area, but you'll be all right. All right. Um, nope. No animals exchanges. No food sales. Could use some components. Um, hmm, Glitter World Medicine tempting, but doesn't really work. Ooh, Bionic Arm would be so nice. I don't see any way that I'm going to be able to afford it, though. Uh, I need another 1300 to be able to afford that. Now what I could use would be that Psychic Insanity Lance. That's a much more reasonable thing for me to think of. Yep, that's it, because I don't really have anything to sell. So how about I buy that Psychic Insanity Lance? Because I'll be able to take on a rocket launcher with that. And of course I want the components. <sighs> Part of me feels like I should try to sell some of those mufalos or something, but I'm not going to. Um, 
And uh, that's it. I don't really have anything to sell these guys, which is a bummer. Uh, too bad they won't buy my weapons. But it's okay. We'll buy their Psychic Insanity Lance. Now, is this going to deteriorate from sitting outside? Looks like the answer to that is no, so I don't really need to worry about. No need to fret. How's my Devil Strand holding up? Looks like it's still dying off. Yet also growing at the same time? Weird. Animals have not eaten all of the grass, so... Oh, there goes the mufalo meat. Rotted away in storage. I probably should have prioritized uh, making pemmican so we could use up that meat a little more quickly. Yep, there goes the last of it. Oh well, we still still got a pretty good uh, pretty good return on investment, or however you want to however you want to phrase that. Um, can we manage to run a power line? Hmm. I mean, we could just run it across here like this pretty easily. Bye, traders. Cool. Cool having you here to hang out with us. Still looks like the animals are doing just fine. Good. There's our power. Let's uh, diversify some of the um, some of the uh, building stuff. Like you can build the shirts. What are we building here? Oh, we're building shirts here. So why don't you build the pants? Pants. I'm gonna get rid of those. And hats. There we go. I build cowboy hats. Do not make them out of walls or double strand very good no wool I say no wool thank you no double strand no wool nice and we need to make eight of each should be good and I'm gonna go ahead and turn a new boy on to tailoring we probably should get something for Kevin to be smithing. Oh, we don't have smithing set up yet, though, so never mind. I guess I could have him making clothing as well. What are you doing, Ellen Brooke? Oh, viewing art. All right, that's nice enough, I suppose. Very innocent pursuit. Looks like you're up to trouble. Speed things back up again. Good times. Uh, you know, one thing I should do to our clothing thing here is remove parkas because parkas are bad. And I see that there's a few people wearing them. All right, Elbrook and Sasha have run out of stuff to do. Let's start mining out a little more here. That'll definitely give them something to do. And maybe we'll discover a little more about what makes our mountainside so awesome. And then we'll uh, do some little areas through here. Open that up. Then we'll dig another big chamber in here, so we can sequester the sequester the uh, infestations as they happen. You guys know how this stuff works. I don't need to tell you. What was that? No, oh, must have been a boomalope dying out in the out in the wild or something. Um, I can expand the toxic allowed area to include this stuff. 
and I can expand the animal toxic area to also include that stuff so they can clean out, help clean out the detritus. Now I should be watching, are they, they are grabbing, looks like they're grabbing the meals instead of going for the pemmican, so I like that. Pemmican's just a little bit further away. If they want, they can come grab it while they're somewhere else. And if they get hungry at the last minute or something. I do not like the animals eating those meals though. Um, animal, toxic, animal. Clean you out of there. And I need to clear out the regular animals out of there as well. Nice try, piggies. Those meals are not for you. You've got all this perfectly, perfectly good grass out around to eat. No uh, starvation stuff. Sasha, what's wrong with Sasha? Oh, that fight. Yeah, yeah, well. You'll heal up just fine, Sasha. Now, I do... Okay, I was going to say, I do have somebody that still doesn't get he healing, huh? So I'm glad I took a look at that. That fight was kind of worth it just for that. Well, this toxic fallout is not... I mean, aside from our Devil Strand, which... just always gets devastated, and... This is why I don't like year-round growing, because you think, oh, I can grow Devil Strand, and no, you can't. Um, I mean, I grew 230 of it, but between the cold snap and the... Uh, the uh, cold snap... Uh, between that and the stupid, uh, whatever the other thing was. It's, oh, great, solar flare. I mean, it's not really a disaster for us, but it's not the best. Uh, but yeah, between the cold snap and the toxic fallout, like, it's so much for all that work we did with the uh, Devil Strand, huh? It's a lot of uh, time spent planning that, and we were very close on some of it. Look at that, ready to harvest. So frustrating. Drake, Kevin, Axel, and Luminary, huh? Drake, Kevin, Axel, and Luminary. Right. Is that it? Just the one Devil Strand was ready to harvest? Oh, there's a couple more. Better be careful. They, I don't want them going out, <clears throat> going way out into the wilds and whatnot. Oh well, I got nothing to complain about. Everybody's alive. Solar flare is ending. Well, that's nice. Does this deteriorate? Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? Turkey leather rotted away to nothing. Why are you still wearing that shirt then? Do we really not have any better clothes for you to be wearing? Let's give everybody a day of unrestrictedness. Maybe we'll get caught up on some of our chores. Mostly I just wanted to get that devil strand in. <laughs> I'm not thrilled that... Oh, I guess the animals were, 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 were uh, forbidden from hauling outside there. So I was like, I'm not thrilled that they placed this stuff in here, but that makes perfect sense that they did. Probably should build a roof over that so I can open it up for everyday use. Yep, Sasha's got a minor break risk. I think we can deal with that. Everybody's back to sleep. It's been a long, exhausting day for our pawns. But they've made it through. 
Hopefully not everything rots away. I think I'm gonna set all this stuff up to be harvested as well. Salvage what we can out of it. All right, well, I like that. Air conditioning, let's get those solar panels next. We'll need those. So, temperature, cooler. Like that. And uh, this right here, we're gonna take out the raw meat and I'm gonna set Set like one square right there. This one can be for raw meat. There we go, raw foods, meat. Nice. And then all the rest of the raw meat will be stored in here. So that'll be good. Um, up here, do have plenty of stone, right? Sort of. All right, so we're gonna go structure slate like that. We're gonna put one there and there, 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 there. These guys are gonna be hauled. All right, restrict. Everybody's restricted to the toxic zone again. You guys are spending too much time outside. Makes me worried. It almost take away this wall, huh? I mean, I kind of want to leave that wall there because there's going to be a building there, but I could open that area up since it's it's guarded. And that those doors just slow everybody down. I could just uh, deconstruct the doors too be a better solution. Don't really need to take the walls down necessarily. Then if I need to replace the walls for some reason, pretty easy to do, or replace the doors for some reason. Pretty easy to do that instead of having to replace the entire wall. Good thinking, Sean. Every once in a while I think of something, I come up with a kind of a new idea. I say there's nothing new under the sun. Well, that's not true at all. I just had a new idea that was great. So, stop stop being so negative. Complainers. Haters. What's Kevin doing? Kevin! Another inside joke that you guys just... No way you get that. Hollywood handbook reference. I would be so excited if there was a Hollywood Handbook listener out there amongst my fans. That's a kind of a difficult podcast to get into. But if you were into it, boy, that is a good podcast. Alright, um, I'm going to remove this stone out here. It does not need to be there. Animals still seem to have plenty of food. Sadie is pregnant. Well, that's nice. That was not toxic fallout as ending, which is what I was hoping for. Ah, shit. Um, now we're running out of food. And we're running out of time. So, I guess that's going to be it for this episode, you guys. I mean, things are going alright, but... We don't have any food. And... I don't have any way to get food really so we're gonna have to figure something out there I mean I mean I have all these mufalos I can kill them they're not that you know what I mean like they're not so important that I want to keep them around I do have a feeling the toxic fallout's gonna end soon um, uh, thank you so much for watching everybody I hope you've enjoyed this episode if you have you know click the like button um, leave me a comment. I always like to hear from you. Um, be sure to check out the Discord. There's a link for that down in the video 
description and uh, you can hang out in there. I like to chat with people. I even hop on the voice thing recently. That was fun. Um, and uh, I have a Twitter account, uh, at Vanilla Strategy, all one word. Follow that if you really want to. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you next time. Bye.